marching in the light of God. We are marching in the light of God. We are marching in the light of God. We are marching, marching, we are marching, oh, we are marching in the light of God. We are marching, marching, we are marching, oh. Welcome boys and girls to another Sunday School session. I am teacher Anne and teacher Madeline. We trust that God has been protecting you and keeping you safe. And before we start our session, we have someone at home to pray for us. Let us pray. Oh God bless our Sunday School teachers, our Sunday School children, help us to learn something new. In Jesus name pray and believe. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much for that wonderful prayer. Trust, it has blessed each and every one of us. So now it's time for praise and worship. So stand up, get some free space, and let's start praising our Lord. soldiers in the army of the Lord. Now it's time to celebrate the special kids who had their birthdays this week. Mm. We have some children at home who are going to sing for those who celebrated their birthday last week. Thank you so, so much, and happy birthday from all of us who are here. Happy birthday. It's now time for a lesson, and Teacher Madeline is going to take us through. Okay, children, get your Bibles and find the book of First Samuel, chapter 17. Are you there? Today we are going to learn together the story of David and Goliath. So I hope everybody is in 1 Samuel chapter 17. And we're going to read different sections from there. So in your own time, I'd like you to read the whole chapter uh, 17. Now, what do we know about David? Teacher, what do we know about David uh, until he shows up 
uh, in verse 17. What are some of the things we know about him? Hmm. I remember David was a shepherd. Mm -hmm. And um, he was a last born. He was a last born. Uh -huh. And he had so many brothers. How many? Does anybody know? Well, How many teacher? I think there were seven. There were yes, seven. Mm -hmm. Okay. And, and, and what, do we know, what was the name of his father? Was it Jesse? His father was called mm -hmm. Jesse. And where, in which town did he come from? Mm -hmm. Bethlehem. Bethlehem. Very yeah. good. So that's what we know about David. And what do we know about Goliath? We know that Goliath was very, very tall. And I'd like teacher to read for us from verse 17, 4 to 8. We see how big and strong and how he was dressed. Teacher, can you read for us? Uh, from verse, verse 4. four the, then Goliath, a Philistine champion from Gath, came out of the Philistine ranks to face the forces of Israel. He was over nine feet tall. Mm -hmm. Nine feet tall. Mm -hmm. Wow. He wore a bronze helmet and his bronze coat of mail weight weighed 125 pounds. That is quite heavy. It's very heavy. Mm. He also wore bronze leg armor and he carried a bronze javelin, javelin on his shoulder. Mm -hmm. A javelin is like the one for Julius Yego. Yes, oh, like okay. a spear. Oh, like a spear. Yes. All uh -huh. right. The shaft of his spear was as heavy and thick as the weaver's beam tipped with an iron spearhead and weighed 15 pounds. Mm -hmm. His armor barrier walked ahead of him carrying a shield. Thank you. Now, we are told about Goliath. So one of the things we know is that he was a giant. He was very, very tall. Nine feet, it's like me and somebody else above me. Wow. So he was a tall man. But we also know he was strong because the clothes he was wearing were heavy. We are told, for example, his helmet was how many pounds? 15 pounds. 15 pounds. That is heavy. That mm -hmm. is like 7 kilos. That is so heavy. Imagine, think about sugar, 1 kilo, or rice, 1 kilo, 2 kilos, 3 kilos, 7 kilos. Put it on your head, and that is what Goliath was carrying every day. Yeah? We are told about his sword, and we are told about his coat. So this was really a big man. Yeah, he was a very, very big man, and we are told they were at war. The Philistines and the Israelites were at war, and the Philistines had this big giant man they were using to create fear in the Israelites. So, like, it's like war today. Some people have a big war machine and maybe others have just a small war machine. So the war machine for the, Israel, uh, for the Philistines was who? Was Goliath. And we are told what Goliath used to say every day. He would come out and what would he do? Teacher, could you please read for us uh, from verse 24 to 26. As soon as the Israelite army saw him, they began to run away in fright. Have you seen the giant? The man asks. He comes out each day to defy Israel. The king has offered a huge reward to anyone who kills him. He will give that man one of his daughters for a wife, and the man's entire family will be exempted from paying taxes. So now, let's go back to David. So David is at home and he's sent to his father by his father to take some food to his brothers who are at the war front with King Saul and they are facing Goliath. And so he arrives at the war front and finds this big giant and he's asking, who is this man? Now remember we had said that Goliath was a big man and we are told that David was just a young boy. That's why he had actually been left at home 
as a shepherd taking care of his father's flock as his older brothers went to war and so he comes and we have this young man saying who is this guy what why are people afraid and we are told that whenever goliath came out the israelites army would scatter they would run because they were afraid they were afraid of this big giant. They had forgotten their God. And sometimes we have situations today, teacher, that make us afraid. And we forget that our God is strong. He is mighty. He is the creator. So that's what, you, that's what had happened. The Israelite army had forgotten. And David comes, a young boy, and reminds them who their God is. And he says, who is this man? who defies the army of the Lord. And we are told he's taken to King Saul. And King Saul says, you are such a young boy. How can you defeat this uh, big giant? And what does King Saul do? He tries to put his armor on David, his shield, his helmet, his, his, um, his coat. And actually, David cannot walk. And David says... Um, that he is going to face the giant with, um, if you read um, verse, verse 34, David said to Saul, your servant has been keeping his father's sheep. When a lion or a bear came and carried off the sheep from the flock, I went after it and struck it and rescued the sheep. And when it turned on me, I seized it by the hair and struck it and killed it. Your servant has killed both a lion and a bear. This uncircumcised Philistine will be like one of them because he has defied the armies of the living God. So where is David's strength coming from? It is coming from God. It is coming from God. And so Saul said, go and may the Lord be with you. And Saul dressed David in his own tunic. He put a coat of armor on him and a bronze helmet on him. And David tried to walk and he could not walk. And so what does David do? say? I cannot go with this because I am not used to them. And so he takes them off and he takes his sling. This is a sling. And he takes, picks five stones and puts them in his pocket. So he has, he has put down the king's armor and he's taken five stones and he's taken his sling. Now remember, Goliath has a helmet, a bronze helmet. He has a bronze coat. What can a stone do to him? Actually, the stone cannot do anything to Goliath. So what does he do? He takes his sling. Um, the Bible shows he had the one that you swing like this. But this is also what I, when we were growing up, this is what we used to play with. And he aims and he hits Goliath on the very place where he is not armed, which is on his forehead and Goliath falls. And mm -hmm. let me ask you children at home, do you think it is the stone that fell Goliath or it is the hand of God. I want you this afternoon to try make sure you're not near any windows or anything you can break go to an open ground find a mark and try and see and I can tell you that unless it is God who was working through David there is no way Goliath would have been killed with a stone and a sling so we know it is God who helped David. Yeah, it is God who helped David. And what do we learn? The situation was hopeless. The situation was hopeless. There was the giant and the armies were afraid. Even the king was afraid. It is like today, we are finding ourselves in some situations that are hopeless. What situation are you in that you feel is hopeless? Yeah, where do you need God to give you the courage of David and to strengthen you to be able uh, to cause you not to fear and to rely on him. Whatever that situation is, you need to 
trusted to God like David did. Goliath challenged the armies of the Lord. These situations, it could be COVID, it could be suddenly we've been told that exams are coming up soon, and many other things that are troubling you. If there is anything that is troubling you, you can give it to the Lord. Yeah? You can give it to the Lord. Amen? Amen. Amen. Thank you so much for that wonderful lesson. As we end the lesson today, our memory verse comes from Isaiah 41 and verse 10. And it says, I, I am your God. God. I, I will strengthen you and, and I will help, help you. you. Let's say it together. Isaiah, Isaiah chapter, chapter 41 and verse 10. I am your God. I will strengthen you and I will help you. Thank, Thank you. you. Indeed, from the story in today's lesson, some things are big, but our God is bigger, and he is indeed our helper and our strength. And before we end, there's a song that says that our God is big, he is so mighty, and he is our strength. Mm. So let us pray together. Our Father in heaven, we just thank you for this day. We thank you for the gift of life. We thank you that you are God who is strong and you are powerful. And I pray for any child that is watching today and is having fear like the, the army of Israel. Remind them, Lord, today that you are strong and mighty and that they can bring their fears to you and that you will help them. We give you thanks. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much, Teacher Madeline. Thank you, everyone who is at home. God bless you and keep you. Remember, if you want to be part of our lesson, just call the number on your screen and we will surely put you in the next Sunday service. Be blessed and keep safe. Bye. Bye.